we were also able to do a um, few other things like um, was able to run a stripe foundation and um, a strip foundation and a pad footing. So um, this evening we are going to be running a raft foundation and um, raft foundation and um, and pile foundation. So first I'm going to run pile foundation and um, then we'll go into raft. So um, please prepare your questions. If you've had any difficulties while trying to, you know, use the software and all that, we'll be glad if, I'll be glad if you, if you show us. So I'm going to delete these part footings, these footings, I'm going to delete them. And, um, you know, now one thing about Stripe Foundation, Strip Foundation um, normally do affect them. Um, once you delete it, it normally do affect um, what is it called the beam. It normally do affect the beam. So um, okay, so I'm, I want to reimpeat my beam, this beam, so that it, it will just be the same as it it used to it was, and um, you know. So I'm going to re-input this. So first, to, to do power foundation, power foundation, it is very simple. Um, when you select a column, let's say I want to put a power and I want to know how many powers can go for this, how many powers can go for this. So it's, it's very simple to, to find out. Um, you right click, you see um, insert part base, you see insert power cap insert part base and you see insert pile cap now when you are inserting the pile cap it's when you click on this insert pile cap it's actually going to um bring up this dialog box so now um remember what we're using is um uh, y25 for x and y axis so um, I want you to look at this dialog box because this determines what we're going to do, what we're going to get. So now the footing, I may call it um, PC1, pile cap one. I may call it pile cap one. So if this is pile cap one, what's the depth of my pile cap? I might say, I want, to, I want it to be 600 and um, the type of pile cap, I want it circular the pile size, the pile cap size, the pile size itself, the size of my pile. So I'm using a diameter of 300. I'm using a diameter of 300, um, 300 diameter. So if you use 150 diameter, that means you're having um, 300 circumference. But the pile we normally have here, um, have always been 600 um, circumference and um, 300 diameter. The radius have always been 600 and the diameter is 300. So um, the power working safe load, the safe load of power of the power. So I'm going to leave this at 150 kilonewton and the tension at 15 kilonewton. 150 kilonewton and 15 kilonewton. So having this 150 and 15 kilonewton the power penetration depth, the depth at which my pile I'm designing, the penetration depth at which I'm using to design, the penetration depth at which I'm using to design, look at it here, the penetration depth at which I'm using to design. So I'm going to say um, pile at least eight meters. So I'm going to say 8,000, that is 8,000 8, 8, millimeter, that is eight meters. Then the minimum pile spacing, center to center. The spacing you're going to have from each pile, center to center. So I'm going to use um, one meter. Uh, that's what I want to use. Now, having gotten this, um, I'll go to loads. This is the load of my pile. This is the load of my pile. This is the load of my pile. So it's giving me a surcharge height of 700 and a unit weight of um, unit weight of soil as 18. I'm using unit weight of soil as 18. 
But now you should note this. This will be given by um, a geotechnic, a geotechnical uh, a geologist. Or from you get this from your soil uh, investigation report. This soil unit where you get it from your soil investigation report. So um, now the parameters, the maximum spacing multiplier is three times. If you if you are good in manual design, you should understand this. When you're doing your your power your the your power spacing multiplier, your power spacing multiplier is always um 3.0 h by p minus p um height minus um the spacing height minus the spacing multiplied by 3.0. So and they said the minimum number of pairs you want to get per column is um two, and the minimum roll you can have is two. I don't want one row of pair. I want at least two rows of pair. And um, if you check here, this was what I was talking about. The, the ignorable moment should not be more than 10 kilonewton power. Uh, the ignorable moment for a single row pair should not be more than 10 kilonewton. Do you get? So um, the distance from pi cap to edge is using 200. I want it to be 600. The distance from the edge of the pi cap, from the edge of the pi cap to, from the edge of the pi cap to the pi face should be 600. And the minimum distance from column face to um, cap edge, to cap edge, okay, let's say 100. Uh, default pi length, if it's five meters that you're using as default pi length, um, default pi length, five meters. So the round value for footing dimension is uh, 50. So once, once I'm having something 0.75, something 0.25, it goes automatically to 0 0.50. So I'll click calculate. Once I've done this, I'll click calculate. Now it's telling me this is it. Uh, pi cap information is 5.5 5 .5 meter by 3.5. And um, the depth is 600. The pi reinforcement is Y25 at 215. And um, the user defined pi cap share pending moment are not considered. So you look at this. You look at this. I want to get number of pairs. Number of pairs is 15. 15 number of pairs. Pile information. Pi size is 300 millimeter. So you see now it's using the diameter. Pi size 300 millimeter. Um, number of pairs 15. So you see, I, I want to decrease this. I want to decrease this. I want to see if I, can, I want to decrease the number of pairs. It's still the same. So I'll go back to general. The pair size, um, okay, let's make it 600 and say calculate. It's, it's now giving us, um, the pie cap itself is now giving us 68 by 38 and um, number of piles, let's see number of piles is giving 18. This is outrageous. Okay, so I want to go back to 300 or probably let's des design with 150. Let's design with 150 and um, the pie cap depth. I want to use 450. I want to use 450 and um, I want to say calculate. Number of pies goes back to um, 15. So I will say, okay. So this is, this is how the pile is going to look like. We will have this size of pile as um, uh, the 150 pile, um, the 150 pile. This is by one to 15, by one to 15. And um, you see the way it's sitting. So I can, I can select this and say combine. I can select this. Let's say uh, I want to combine this.
So now there are some other ways. Instead of selecting this column, um, if I select if I select the beam that is here now, for instance, if I select this beam that is here and right click, you go down, you see try footing insert path is all is also the same thing. So if I click on this, I want to show you different ways of getting that. Okay, so I'm going to say insert file. It will insert the files. I'll, I'll just select these and say combine selected footings. I'll say yes. I'll right click and say insert file cap. Insert file cap. So um, now, if you don't want this spacing, I normally use this one meter. Um, basically, if I am doing um, a bridge design, but let me show you, I'm, I'm going to close this again. What we are saying at that one meter is from here to here will be one meter. From here to here is one, one meter. One meter spacing, one meter spacing, one meter. So you see this thing will be taken like one, two, three, four, five, six, roughly six meters. So if you don't want it like that, insert power cap. And um, so I'm going to say minimum spacing. I'm going to reduce this to um, to 500, and then the penetration depth I can say five meters, and um, I'll say calculate. So it's giving me 15 pass. If now look at this. The power safe, um, the safe, the power safe working load, the power safe working load is 150 kilonewton. 150 kilonewton. I'm trying to get the code, um, VS code in my phone, and um, I'm not seeing the PDF. So I'm going to use 75 kilonewton, and um, use 7.5 as tension. So I'm going to say calculate. Let's see what is going to, it's giving me five, four by two, four width. I believe this must have, wow. It have increased to 27. It have increased to 27. So I can come here, say 300 circular. And um, so now see the pile dimension, do you want it to be, calculated automatically if i unclick this it's is now it will be calculated that means I, I decide the ratio should it be landscape or should it be portrait should it be landscape or should it be portrait so i can say calculate it's giving me six meter by two five and um it's giving 30 pounds that is exaggerous but what i'm trying to um I'm taking this back to now the thing there is the the thing there is like let's say this is 900 per cap and um, okay so now having that having done that having done that um i still have a six meter by two five if i say okay it's giving me 30 pass for this i can delete this part i don't want it to be combined again i'll say um remove combined footing and I'll just want to treat them as a separate entity. So I'll say insert by cap, insert by cap and um, let's go to calculate two five by two five. This should be giving us a minimal um, nine number of paths. I'll say, okay. So it's giving us nine number of paths. You see 2.5 by 2.5. So if we can do this for virtually all the work and um, this is giving us two five by two five again um, nine number of paths also 
So you you pick it is left for you as the structural guy. But once it gives you this, if you go to um, print, um, if you right click, select this and right click and go to print part footing, you want to get the calculation sheet to know if actually this thing is passing. You see, um, there is no um, information on this failing. So if it fails, it will tell you this is insufficient. Certain number of pairs is insufficient. Do you get it? It will tell you a certain number of pairs is insufficient. So um, that is it about pie cap. So I'm going to delete these pie caps and um, I'm going to run um, raft foundation. Raft foundation. Now, raft foundation is one of the popular foundations we use in Lagos and um, in a Boeing state. Um, uh, looking for swampy areas, uh, Hamufu, like part of swamp, um, Enugu. Um, most of the areas where you have swampy areas, swamp. When you have a swamp, it it, it has to be. It has to be. It has to be um, 